Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Talisa from Rose and Art, where I talk about everything calligraphy engraving. Today, I'm going to show you how to engrave a logo on a glass surface. So, be sure to keep watching. So you might be inquired by a company to engrave a um, glass or uh, maybe a bottle of wine or anything um, that is something that they wanted to give for their high-end client. So the thing when it comes to logo, it was it's specifically designed to represent their brand. So you don't want to draw it freehand. You want to make sure that everything looks exactly like the logo that they provide. Now you may have heard something called a chemical etching cream. Some people have used that to engrave a glass surface, um, which I think is fine, but there's a lot of limitation in using uh, chemical etching cream. For one, um, you do need to have a uh, vinyl cutting machine because um, you do need to create a stencil to create that logo. and. And the thing is that if you don't press it hard enough, the chemical, the cream might just bleed. So you might not get the exact replica of the logo that your client wants you to engrave. And secondly, um, well, um, it is easier to use a final cutting machine. Um, I just can't imagine doing cutting it with your hand with scissors. That would be so hard. So there's that limitation too. Not everyone has access to Cricut or um, any other final cutting machine. And the other thing is that um, etching cream is not, um, it doesn't engrave very deep that when you're adding, when you try to uh, add rub and buff, it won't be so opaque. So. It won't look as pretty when you try to add color filling in. And the other thing with um, with the chemical etching cream is that you can't really do a lot of detailed work like this project that I did. So, all right, so I'm gonna show you how to engrave a logo design without vinyl cutting machine or, or any <laughs> chemical etching cream. So we're going to engrave on this bottle. Um, this project can be done on any glass, even metal surface. Um, you can do this on a wine bottle or pretty much anything except for pressurized bottles like champagne because that might explode during engraving or after engraving. Now we are going to measure the real estate of the bottle of how much space that we can have to engrave the logo. So I'm going to use a flexible tape measure. Now this is ideal because it is a curved surface and because it's flexibility, um, I can measure it um, perfectly. So because the logo is going to be a square, I'm going to do a three inch wide and maybe about three inch length as well, like so. So this is going to be the logo that we are going to engrave. I totally made this logo up in Canva. I do not want to get a copyright infringement issue if I were to use someone else's logo. So this is the logo. If you knew, my cat's name is Kiki, so we're going to do this logo. Okay, so the first thing that what you're going to do once you have the logo um, given by your client, you're going to save it, um, download it as a PNG. Um, PNG is usually in transparent, so I'm going to save it on my desktop and then I am going to open up um, a new create design on Canva and we're going to get a custom size to three by three inch as the surface that we measured earlier on the bottle. Okay, so now that the blank page is open, we are going to upload the uh, transparent logo that you just save in your computer. Again, it is important that it's in transparent. Um, 
and then we're going to drag that into the blank space uh, I'm gonna actually make it slightly less than three inches wide now if you want to check um, to see the the ruler you can press file and then show rulers to just to confirm that it is within the three inch um, square foot okay now we are going to save this file uh, where is it oh download <laughs> so we're going to save it but um, we are going to save it in PDF print um, because I'm going to print it in a regular letterhead because yeah okay so I'm actually going to rename this first so it doesn't get lost um, so yeah so you're going to save it as PDF print and download that and then you're gonna save that in your computer And then you're going to open that PDF file that you just save and we are going to print in letter size. See, if you can tell, that's going to be three by three inch when you print it on letter size, which is the standard size of printing. Okay, so I printed on a vellum paper, transparent paper. You can find this on Amazon, which is much easier to work with than a regular paper. Um, see the size is perfect and um, now when I grab the bottle it is obviously too hard to tape this down so I'm actually going to cut um, the surrounding area so then it'll be easier for me to tape the um, the logo down on the bottle after so let's do some cutting Okay, so this is the perfect size. Now before we tape it down to the bottle, we're going to do another step. So next we are going to grab the Stabilo All Pencil. Now I have three colors that I use the most, black, red, and white. But for this purpose, I am going to use the red one um, behind the logo. So because I want to be able to see the contrast of um, against the black label. And you're gonna need a sharpener as well. Okay, we're gonna flip this logo over and I'm gonna grab the red one and just color in all the uh, logo area. And um, do it as thick as possible okay. and just rounding it. Okay, now make sure that your surface is clean. There's no oil or anything, so you can clean that with a rubbing alcohol. What we're going to do is now we're going to tape the logo down with a regular tape. And next what you're going to do is you're basically going to transfer that logo design. Um, I'm using a uh, mechanical pencil because it's the sharpest there is. So we're going to go over every single line of that logo. But I'm actually going to make sure that I don't um, rest my palm on the heel logo area so we're gonna be carefully doing this and um, I'm actually only going to do just the outline of the logo okay now that you've traced the uh, logo um, you're gonna take off the tape very very gently um, the thing is you don't want to rip the um, the logo because in case you might need it as a reference later
Okay, now um, you can probably see a little bit of the uh, transferred design. Um, I know it's not super clear because it's glass surface, so it's reflective and there's lots of glare, but it is clear for me to see in person. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it super clear by um, tracing it again um, with a uni Pasca, which is a water-based marker. And I have to make sure, again, my palm is not touching the area because that might um, that might erase the, uh, the design. And I'm going to do this from the bottom and slowly going up the design. Okay, now the most fun part, we are going to engrave this logo design. Um, and because this is a glass surface, we're going to go all the way up of the uh, RPM. And I'm um, gonna be using this drill because I'm gonna be using the 0 0.8 uh, diamond, round diamond burr, um, just for the outline of that logo. So I'm not gonna do the, um, the shading of the inside yet. So we're gonna need the brush, um, the burr loop, and don't forget the pillow so then you don't scratch the bottom part and let's get engraving Okay, just dust it off and look how nice it looks. Um, so this is just the outline um, of the uh, details of that logo. So the next, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to engrave the whole solid area. And um, before that, I'm going to clean the area first, uh, the draft lines using um, rubbing alcohol and just a paper towel just to clean it up so I can see how the lines look like. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the reference um, to see which area are supposed to be shaded with the solid um, engraving. So I'm going to use a, uh, I'm actually using a one millimeter round diamond burr to fill out the um, the logo and don't forget to use a burr loop for this because it's going to make your burr really really dull without that Now the next step that we're going to do is we're going to add a gilding wax. I'm using rub and buff and silver. So I'm just going to add a little bit. So here's a trick for me to save um, the rub and buff. So I'm going to add a little bit using the cotton bud and I'm only going to apply just on the top of the engraved area like so. And then I'm going to grab either a cotton pad or tissue and I'm going to 
drag it down so basically dragging that gilding wax down to the rest of the engraved area so you don't have to buff it so hard see they're all covered by the uh, rubber buff And there's a tiny bit of area that needs a little bit of uh, rub and buff so I'm just gonna add a little bit more and just uh, clean the excess with the uh, same tissue and here's the final look I don't know what to use this uh, bottle for, but I think it's really, really cute. <laughs> anyway, um, so the cool thing about this trick is that you don't always have to do this on a glass. It works on metal, uncoated or um, or a coated metal and even plastic surface. Now, if you do want to watch the other videos that I've done in the past about how to engrave those different surfaces, make sure you watch my other videos. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.